Hello and welcome, Dragon Warrior Randomizer fans, to this matchup in the round of 24 in our brackets part of the summer tournament versus Chromaticalism and Ratliff the Rat. I am Aaron Chiu2, and with me after a short bit will be the Seawolf 1. Now to uh, set the table here, we have Chroma, who has emerged from the Drakey group at 4-2, and two, uh, got the second seed. And uh, on the opposite side, Ratliff the Rat, also 4-2, and two, ended up as the third seed from the Red Slime group. Uh, the winner of this race uh, will be one out of three steps towards, or excuse me, has one of the two wins that they will need to move on to the round of 16 and play EMP any amount of money. Uh, what we are seeing at the onset here is an interesting set of stats. Five strength is very, very weak. Only going to be able to beat a couple of things. 22 hit points is on the low end. No magic. So nothing fancy right yet to get out of level one jail but we'll see if we get any sort of uh, interesting items here in just a moment also uh with us on the production today is archfield monk our restreamer thank you very much archfield for restreaming the race and billick is on tracking feel free to uh prod him slightly if uh you think anything is missing or prod us if we say anything stupid on comms that's also <laughs> well uh, well allowed. But uh, we see we have the same build, the letter Z. So HP and strength, no difference. And we are underway. And so we will see what we get in these first chests here in just a moment, getting the directions from the king. Uh, of gold vow. So we have gold in one of the chests. Uh, that could be, that could make for an interesting divergence at the beginning of the seed here. Ooh, min roll for Ratliff. 500. Fairy water. And this last one is a key. So the gold, maybe we'll see some runs for a town. Chroma's got that above 560, which is what you really want to see to get uh, potentially a hand axe from a nearby town. 500 is not enough for that, and that's going to feel bad if he does happen to find a town. But we'll see what they do if they stay close. And that fairy water does make for an easy kill on the magician. So one down and level two incoming. And then we see a whopping one power, zero agility, and just a smattering of HP and MP. So level two does not help too much. The, uh, the Spectre, there's nothing Chroma's going to be able to do about that. Ratliff does get away from the Ghost. He had, uh, you know, Chroma got the hard Ghost, and Ratliff got the easy Ghost. It's not help me too much. I'm back. Welcome back. And we see Ratliff go for a full reset. So back to level one. Wants to preserve that gold to find something. Maybe wants to use the fairy water on something a little bit more aggro than uh, Magician, although we haven't seen it yet. And seeing a red slime kill this quickly definitely makes you think that uh, the starting zone isn't going to be that rough. If you're in a desert and there's at least one metal slime, or excuse me, one red slime, metal slime would be amazing. One red slime, you'll be able to get experience for a while. It just won't be a lot. Now, I think I see what Ratliff did. He he uh, didn't worry about saving it after the first one because he he got that low roll, and I think he was just going to you know roll with it, see if he could find a town and so on. But now that he's got a little bit more money, he saves it, um, and now he's going to peek a bit. Metal Scorpion with the Fairy Water. You get this. You, you keep it. And, uh, oh, 15, but he could get a 50-50 roll here. Does not get the first one. Oh, and the Metal Scorpion takes him out. So probably going to see a reset here in just a moment. There we go. Yeah, I've only, only one fairy water, and the monsters here are dangerous. Spectre and Mel Scorpion are a little tougher than usual, so hard to get them in one shot with the... I think it's possible to one shot with the fairy water. It would be too much to ask for a fairy water to kill them in one shot. No, it looks like Chroma is just finding red slime after red slime. There's a ghost. Could fight the ghost, but when you have red slimes, you probably just want to deal with those at least until three, and then, you know, reassess. Unfortunately, our attack power being so low, even with level up, it's just a matter of the damage you're doing is absolutely pitiful. Uh, ghosts you don't hit more than half the time. Uh, there's a cave on the you know, east coast there, but there's a golem in front of it, so <laughs> Rattler sees the golem and says, That's the, I'm leaving. 
Yeah, Archfield Monk mentioning specifically the, the Ghost AP there, that is a particularly bad number because it actually changes the formula. And meanwhile, level 3, 2-2, uh, two, two, six, fifteen. so another 2 strength. Still kind of in level 1 jail, but 8 strength gives you a little bit more flexibility. The Ghost is suddenly fightable now. We have the Ghost now. Magician is still out of play, so we'll leave that one alone. Let's we'll see what else Ratliff's looking for now. He, uh, I think he's given up and he's just going to grind. But I think he wants something better than Magician, since he knows level 3 at minimum is what's he going to need to break out. Yeah, it's just the continent, though. It's all desert, so you have high encounter rates, so you're not... You're looking for fights that you can do. At least it's not like planes where it's, you know, you can walk around for a long time and you know, not see any monsters for 40 seconds. Desert tiles are one of the higher encounter rates, if not one of the, the highest encounter rate in the game. Right. When I see desert tiles... And right around Tantagel, the first thing I think is, please let Repel show up early in this game because I don't want to have to walk past all these level one enemies at like level ten and just get bogged down constantly. It's fine. We have the spray water in our backpack. And, oh yeah, no, that's gone. Anyway, yes, yeah, Repel helps in the early game. You don't think much of it, but you're having to run from five, six monsters on the way out of this area every time you die or talking about the castle, you know, that ends up being a minute for shot. So Karma's unable to get up, get through that ghost. It looks like it's rolling two to four against him, and he's rolling uh, one to two against it. So without you know a decent amount of hit points, it's probably still not going to be possible. But he's uh, a little over halfway to level three. He's always going to be able to grind. There's no close by towns. The gold is basically an afterthought. that will be gone long before they get out of here, probably. Oh, the ghost has hurt, which means the ghost can really outpace you now. Yeah, I don't really want to see that. I think it's still worth swinging at with max hit points because, I mean, it's. I, I don't. I think anything you could possibly kill, you swing at in this period. Yeah, so so sweep the kills and hope you're crit. You know, if you get a crit and you know, take out, yeah, heal more. That's not good. All right, goodbye, ghost. I retract all my previous statements. Heal more is a problem. So Ratliff has made it to level three now. Still has all that starting money actually due to the resets. However, a wolf takes him out, so we're going to see a halving there of the gold. You do lose half your gold to the king every time you die, uh, which I, we don't really know what the king does with it because he just sits in his castle and, you know, does nothing, I guess. I would say um, the king is obviously either a potent uh, priest or necromancer to bring you back to the dead over and over again to uh, actually be a sage. He teleports you back to the castle and then revives you. So he, he finds your body, brings it back. He's a little tougher than you think. True. I guess there, there's a little bit more involved in that. So I, I don't remember what Ratliff used the fairy water on to get to level 3, but he did get to level 3. And uh, so their levels are tied, and they're doing the exact same thing. It kind of looks like Chrome is just going to peek as far as he can on that one hit point. Unfortunately, outside the desert is all swamp, apparently, which means this entire cotton is basically no bueno. Yeah, without any sort of healing, uh, you you know, 31 hit points. So that's a total, a max total of 15 steps without dying. Uh, I did the math. It, it, and uh, Ratliff resets. Was he still level one? Did he lose the money and reset from that? No, okay. I think he uh, he had got level three already. Uh, Ratliff saved after the wolf killed him. So Ratliff got the uh, the uh, one death. So cut in half the 300 gold and try to hold on to that 300. Trying to find something to spend it on, get a copper sword or, well, copper sword. <laughs> and of the of the bad things that kind of happen in this scenario, the fact that their agility hasn't moved at all either makes them still sitting ducks for anything. All right, level four, hurt more. Power seven, hurt more. Oh, that that's huge because I mean, a lot of times these early starts, you're just hoping for hurt more to to get past it, but that also just means that. Um, Ratliff's going to have to grind up the rest of this to get anywhere, and uh, Chroma could possibly kill a Magiwyvern. He uh -huh. didn't, but he could have. Magiwyvern's the right idea. Is Magiwyvern's a instant kill, guaranteed would hurt more, and a big payoff. But when it hits first, it doesn't matter much. Yes, yeah, most efficient uh, use of hurt more in the game, and we see the stats on the ghost there. 75% heal more, 25% hurt. I don't know if Ratliff has seen the heal more, but the moment he does probably is giving up on this guy, too. Ooh, wait, we got a crit. There we go. Ghost goes down. We got past the heal, heal more threshold. 
It looked like Chroma was swinging on the Magician for a little bit and then changed his mind. Uh, he's trying to explore and not really finding anything. Okay, he's just level 4, very little hit points, uh, agility still very bad. So even though you got that, that Hurt More spell and want to start finding some awesome things to use it on, um, you're, you're probably not going to survive them. Rather found another cave to the east, but uh, can I survive the walk there and the golem also suplexes him into the cave just to make things doubly dumb. Speaking of that, Wolf is an absolutely great enemy to use that Hurt More on right now because uh, you still have a reasonable chance of surviving an ambush and uh, 40 experience, so he more than doubled it in that one go, and that will bring him to level 5. Definitely, and this, uh, this boost here will be it's fast, it's nice to have. Uh, once Rattle hits 4, that lead will evap evaporate immediately. So uh, these experience points are kind of freebies. You have about a 2 minute lead right now to take your time and try and find something because once Rattle hits 4, that's going to vanish real quick. Throws out the sleep on the droll. You know, I think he didn't realize he picked up the spell. <laughs> That's about the only way that makes sense. So there we go. Hurt more of the droll mad. Another 58 experience and another level. Wow, it looks like Ratliff is in Mountain. You found... It was in Mountain Cave. Uh, 15, 15 power and Radiant for level 6. So here come the stats. Oh, and Ratliff finding the enemy, the, the best possible thing he could find in this scenario right now. Metal Slime, 8 strength, easily, and he gets the crit. There we go, takes it down, and uh, 100 experience, going to pick up that hurt more and almost be uh, caught up to Chroma, just like that. There we go, a little luck, swing the randomizer, a little RNG there. Slime is uh, scaled down to your level, so it's not a perfectly maxed out experience point boost, but enough to get back in the game. Yes, a five-point Metal Slime crit. It's all you need. And uh, I guess it could have been four, right? Since he had eight strength. I don't know. Yeah, it could possibly... The death was guaranteed, but it could have been four, yeah. I also could have dodged, too. Metal Slime should dodge. So it could have been a... Actually, no pitch geeky. Oh, and running from the wolf over there, too, in Mountain Cave was a little surprising. Um, we saw the first chest was uh, something uninteresting because I already forgot what it was. Maybe wings. And uh, no, it wasn't that either. Oh, it was the torch. It was the torch reason right now. Yeah, yeah, it's a torch. Yeah. Goldman actually is tempting to blow up with a hurt right now, the hurt one. It's bad luck to not uh, hurt more a gold man. Curse belt. So no, one of the spots are in play for search spots. Very while this was happening, and sorry, while this was happening, Chroma did pick up level six, which had a fairly healthy amount of strength. Uh, hit points seem to be the lagging thing right now more than anything. Agility's not good either, but thirty-six hit points kind of locks you down. All right, a little here with Magic Weapon, level seven coming up. No new spells. Some stats across the board. Nothing wild. Yeah, so kill the gold man. That's good. But then, uh, oh, and I wonder what Chroma thinks when you see a metal slime once you walk in here. Something you know you could have walked into from the start of the game. You know, we know that that didn't really tilt anything to askew, but it certainly could have. I left eyes to those guys, but cave fully cleared, so we're at the search the entirety of Mountain Cave. And one dive, or, well, one and a half dive. First dive died immediately, but the second dive good went well. And now Chroma has Radiant, so we'll be walking through here. A torch in hand. And uh, we did see Token in the basement here, in the last chest in Mountain, so if he's able to get to it... Uh, ooh, Poltergeist with weak breath and trying to run. I think that... I don't know. He still has kind of weak agility. He should have been able to run on odds, but... Man, it's hard to not just hurt more everything at this point, I think. It was, yeah, it was two runs to that point, and Chroma has run from every guys they've seen. Chroma has run from like five or six guys now, and just does not want to waste time hurt more of them. And it's been a problem a few times now. Our restreamer would probably be hurt more every one of them. Just in spite. If I started with six strength, they got hurt more level four. There's definitely a payback to be you know, given out. Oh, Knight. You know, if you can withstand the one hit, like, this zone is actually extraordinarily good for Hurtmore. 
Um, it has the one wizard, which sucks, but then everything else is great. It's just you have bad agility, and they keep ambushing you. But heck, you see a knight, you see a magic wizard, and I don't know if I even want to go in that cave. I might just try uh, to stay out here. Yeah, the zone there has those two enemies there. It also has the wizard and the golem. So there's a golem, if not in that zone, right next to it. So golem popped up before. You gotta be careful. Okay. Well, uh, hey, heal more. There we go. We have heals. We have hurts. We are... Uh, you can do everything now, except... So Terrible survive. agility and hit points. All right. survive, survive a hurt more ambush or a drain more ambush. <laughs> because she just it's like, yeah, 41 health. Oh, it takes 70. All right. I guess I'll go home now. Level 6 now for Ratliff as well. And we're getting to see that fairly large strength dump right there. So uh, good for him. Got some points in there. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. Golem right there. Knight. That's all the same zone. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Some good, some bad. Uh, thankfully, the uh, golems are somewhat easy to run from, but they still are going to ambush you at a fairly regular clip, and that isn't good. Yeah, they are a bit slower, but they do ambush the scorpion, takes right left down again. Uh, golems, the problem with golems are if you do not run from them or they ambush you, you just die because your hit points are so low, your agility is trashed. <laughs> right, the finds a stone man downstairs. And it's kill. 46. No surviving that. We'll see if he runs back in there. He hasn't had a lot of luck, and the enemies outside seem to be fairly good. He might just decide to try to walk the overworld a little bit. He will have to go back in there. You cannot beat the game without the uh, the token that is in there, but it's not necessarily something you need right away either. Very good point, Schmike. He did not hurt more of the gold man, and as we all know, hurt more of the gold man is good luck. If you don't, it is bad luck. Let's see here, hurt more of the magic wyvern. And again, I really can't heal yet, so I'd rather just get to level 70 to learn heal more. Max Knight, that's a diggy. There we go. Ratliff is trying to grind. Uh, again, it's just that the low agility makes ambushing so likely that it's it's just rough to uh, count on much, but you still want to try it because it's such good experience and uh, yeah, the death recycle there is so quick. Yeah, it's very close to the castle, and uh, you just go back there, catch your Moors. Uh, you can survive ambush from those anything there's the golem. Uh, golem just probably kills you instantly. Ooh, grave found as well. So we have top of grave. Three items in here. He knows this zone because it's the same as Mountain 2, so watch out for those stone men. Stone man. Whack. Well done for Atliff. Gilmore on the way. That's rough, but you see a stone man, you know, for like 80% of the game, your first thought needs to be sleep. Because, uh... Um, you have a 87.5% chance of landing asleep, and you have the 25 agility currently, like a 35% chance to run. If you mention the chroma here, we've seen the uh, Bolsh guys being ignored and that being uh, two or three deaths being caused by just you know, ping damage. And the Stone Man now is twice. Uh, the first was ambush, you couldn't help that as the ambush. But that Stone Man, you know, well, you're fair and square, besides being, you know, a truck on me against a, you know, get a hero wearing a dragon scale. Yeah, the, uh, the interesting thing about the zone that uh, Ratliff is still trying to work in is that it gets a ton better at level 8, but we haven't seen Chroma kind of stick around there because at that point you can withstand an ambush from almost everything. The Golem is still uh, probably still a favorite to not get killed in one shot if you're maxed out, but with that heal more uh, makes everything else, um, yeah, you're just, you're just not going to die right away, I guess. Level 9 here, though, so let's see what level 9 provides. 8 hit points, 14 magic. So we're getting powered up, the battery's getting bigger, but still a little fragile. Yeah, getting there is probably the uh, the right way. We, we're not blowing up this game with ridiculous stats, but um, getting somewhere. Oh, and Ratliff did not get the one shot on the Axe Knight, unfortunately. Uh, probably has to be pretty happy to see that, though, but just. All these enemies that are good to hurt more, and he's finding the wrong ones, and the, the right ones just aren't cooperating. We found the Bell Cave on the far east side from one herb.
And uh, not surprised, actually, to see him do this. I was wondering if he might pop in and grab a couple more. Um, Healmore doesn't feel real good, especially when you're operating on that same magic pool for hurt more and you need a whopping 49. So picking up one or two extra could be good just to, you know, continue the current run he's on right now. Yeah, not an herb just to get your health back versus, you know, wasting 70 points of healing from a heal more. It's definitely a little better investment of time. I always wonder what the uh, the innkeeper at Cantlin thinks when somebody walks over to the herb shop and then just uses herbs and then just keeps buying more. Unfortunately, he did see a blue dragon. Blue dragon had um, nothing in particular except just enough to, to take him out. They're still pretty hard to run from. They're like the, the hardest non-red enemy to run from in the game. Unless you count metal slimes, but who runs from metal slimes? Yeah, again, the... Uh... Enemy cheering, it's Red Dragon at the top, of course. Uh, Armor Knight below that, and then Blue Dragon. Golem, this is how weird anomaly. Golem is slower, but not as strong as the Red Dragon, but much slower in combat, so it's definitely uh, it's a weird like mismatch of things there. But uh, Blue Dragon is definitely dangerous and dodges hurt more half the time, so it's a really bad thing to just rely on hurt more with. Uh, Binion Charlock, the Wizards, the dragon, the Red Dragons, and the uh, Blue Dragons are not near, well, especially the Wizards and the Red Dragons, hurt more basically you know, bounces off them. So you're kind of forced to fight them the hard way. Oh, Chroma tried to sneak in a, a little cheeky little punch to get that hurt more kill on the Axe Knight, and Axe Knight wasn't having it. Yeah, you, you like to think that you can, at level 9, get that chip damage, you know, the one a little bit to top off, and it does, and you just kind of feel bad. We haven't found any towns, so no weapons. None of that. Ratliff, meanwhile, homing in on Grave, if I recall right. Um, but got yeah, ambushed by a golem. That sucks. So I think the spot twice has happened to Ratliff, where just you get three steps in the swamp cave and just stay, or the grave. This big red fist comes out of the swamp, and no one just decks you. <laughs> Chrome range some enemies and getting some bad luck with like secondary combats. Lots of ambushes still. And uh, Ratliff keeps running enemies that either ignore, hurt more, or get the ambush on. And just really make it a real nightmare trying to walk past this map. We really haven't gone beyond those three screens here so far. Hey, this, uh, this zone that they're both in right now, Green Dragons and Volmagies, I, I wonder about that. That uh, it looks like, yeah, Chrome is gonna, they're both gonna kind of, well, never mind. Zone suddenly got worse. He still have a gatekeeper. Uh, the first zone by the uh, mountain cave is pretty good, except the wizard and the golems. This zone's pretty nice, the blue dragon shows up and causes problems. So there's no guaranteed safe zone. But uh, do pretty good work. We're 20 minutes in, and both the races are level 9 and level 8. Uh, lack of towns are, is a problem. The equipment is nice to have. But uh, both our racers are... For all the deaths we're having, we're doing lots of damage and you know, heal more, hurt more. Can't complain too much. Looks like Ratless gonna try the double hurt more. Gets the first. At least survive the attack. He does. Let's see if he gets the second. Did not get it, unfortunately. That, it's always fun to see it happen, but you know the odds are around what one in three, maybe. I think to get the, the double hurt more. Trying the coin flip to hit the hurt more. It's either hat, it's either fifty fifty or a little bit in the dragon's favor. Well, I know normally a 716 block, but to get two, I can't remember the math, but I think it's in like the low 30 percent. So it's not terrible, but... In my old days of call, you multiply them together, so 7 7 16th times 7 16th ends up being your actual chance. So 7 squared, about 49, over 16 squared, 116 plus 82, 42, 6, so that... So over 256, yep, there, 81, 256. Right the math work. So 49 out of 256, and uh, 31.6, so I am um, one out of three, that wasn't too bad. Maybe it was better than doing all the math, I don't know. What is it, nine? Okay, so yeah, it was nine sixteenths for resistance, then yeah, that's worse. Yeah, nine sixteenths is the way to go, so okay, so that's different. But uh, the magic weapon zone, uh, magic weapon is nice, but it has the golems and wizards, so it's there's two enemies that kind of, like, so you hurt more and just kind of scoff and hit you for 40 damage. So level 10. Chroma, yeah, gets level 10, diving here in Mountain. 20 hit points and 18 MP. That's actually really important. 
because the, I think the HP has just been blocking everything. But now we can withstand an ambush from all the enemies that are constantly ambushing. Look, this night. There's about two attacks on this night because we have no 70 hit points. So, oh no, don't be cheeky. Do it again. All right, good luck this time. Your Chrome has been trying to not, I don't know, not use two hurt wars on those nights. It's a little dicey. <laughs> Well, the, the hurt by itself is almost guaranteed to uh, take him out. Uh, runs from the uh, snowman. He's still not a favorite to run, so that's good luck. Uh, maybe, I don't know, luck might not be the right turn. That was a good roll. Alright, Liv. Finds some dragon. Pokes in the nose. And is bit for the trouble. The mountain cave. The mountain cave is done. We have talent for Chroma. So both bases have completed the mountain cave and found the good news. Uh, not cave being close to Castle too. If you really want to get a gold grind going, if the uh, treasury eventually has gold grind set, you can go there. But that means it's a fine town and things to buy. Which is a little out of the way right now. Yeah, still not seeing. Oh, he's swinging on the the golem, but. I guess he's just decided he might as well just die here, but uh, get the full refill. That makes some sense. You get the full stack here. 75 MP at level 10, so MP has now been boosted significantly. You know, it's one thing go around nuking the things you can, getting experience, but once you see something that uh, you don't feel confident to even run from, you know, you might as well do it. Although he was, he's a run favorite at this point against the golem. Yeah, it was simply a. Basically, I got punched, I lose half my gold, and I gain 55 MP. <laughs> so, good trade. I mean, if you could trade uh, gold for MP any, at any point in Sherlock, the uh, game would be a whole lot easier. Yeah, we had that in uh, F5, we call it Guild Toss, which is kind of the same concept. Uh, like Guild Toss, but you toss it into your mouth and it somehow converts into MP. Don't judge my methods. I got my mama. All right, both tracers now in the grave. I thought I saw Chroma get these, but I guess he wants to go back. Maybe he likes the enemy plans here. Um, or no, he must not have, because we just saw a flute pickup and a heart pickup. So hard. All right, I hope for a free key or a big stick somewhere, but hmm. this thing's not like the other. And Chroma is now hurt rolling the Goldman. Everything is going to go perfectly from the rest of the scene now. Yeah, Chr uh, Chroma got here for like two steps and got hit by a knight, I think. So, oh, okay. finally, finally making progress now. Still no towns, however. We've explored this continent we found three caves. Oh, Rogue Scorpius have sleep. That's not good. And they have hurt. That's a little better. You say progress, but uh, kind of in quotations. He goes back in and uh, double... Hurtmore fails on the Axe Knight. Even Heal Morris, but thinks he's hitting way too hard and takes him out. So, double deaths. And that lost me too. <laughs> double double Hurtmore, so. Does happen. Alright, but now we have health. We can go south now. To the big swamp. Yeah, it looks like Ratliff is just uh, not finding anything in this swamp, but hey, he knows not to come back. Uh, he is going to heal more. I thought maybe he was just going to take the death out, but uh, it would probably take a little bit longer. He didn't lose a whole lot of resources anyway. Right, I mentioned the Chrome again, that makes the chest, so Chrome does not have the flute or the harp. Yeah, look at those stats. 27 minutes in, level 10, no equipment. Strange, wild, like fire throwing barbarians. We have no armor, no gear. We can you know, bring fire from the sky and you know, <laughs> heal ourselves to full health. It looks like Ratliff wants to maybe see if he can get a low roll on the, the AK 47, but I think it's mineral right now is way above his halfway point. So, yeah, yeah. This, this, the swing there is kind of a admission of, yep, you got me. Chroma is back into Grave. We'll see if he gets through it this time. There we go. Very flute. Curse Belt number two. 
I know two spots in the map are required, so we have the Hawk's Nest spot, the Coal spot, and the map spot. I can all have items, possibly. Break Chris Belt, you'll find a chest. That means one of those spots is live and in play. Right, and, uh, yeah, so th those are the things you generally gravitate towards, too. The Curse Belts just make it a little more obvious. Um, I mean, because generally it's more like when you know the Curse Belts are there, then you know to go. But if you don't see the Curse Belts, it usually doesn't mean you don't go, because uh, it would take full clearing Sherlock to know whether or not, you know, for the Curse Belts to give you that much information. True. Oh, wow. Ratliff had the, the worst heal more I've seen and got 40 HP back. Oh wait, no. Ratliff doesn't have the love yet, so 49 is the max. Okay, as I say, that was tragic. Speaking of that, he is closing in on level 10. Chroma is uh, very, very close to level 11. We might see it on uh, this guy right here. Alright. I guess the chat asked about game 1 for the races. Yes, we're in the uh, playoffs of the tournament right now. So the matches are best of three. So uh, Chroma and Ratliff are playing their first match today. Yeah. Found Repel, that's going to feel real good every time you leave Tantagel now. Um, especially because he, he only has 23 defense, so he's not repelling anything he really wants to fight anyway. I think it's up to up through your emails. That's right, I said playoffs. Oh, Ooh. and now you see a town! I see, on the side of the map, the half tile Township. Hello, town! Hello, Hawk's Nest! How are we doing today? It looked like a town, but it was, in fact, not a town. It was just a bunch of death. It has demon knights, which means demon knights ignore hurt more as well. <laughs> so, our wants of power is being mocked again. This is still pretty good. You have hurt more. This could be a grind. This could be some very important item here, and uh, or it could be nothing. That's still possible. It could be yes. a blue dragon. We're getting ambushed like crazy again. So we're constantly being just. We want to save our power for the fight, but we're getting ambushed and swamp walked and all kinds of stuff. Chroma searching the random grass. Ratlife picking up level 10. This is actually going to be really important to get before this spike time. An extra 20 hit points. Uh, well, no, he doesn't have herbs, does he? So he has to blow a heal more and have no hurt more, or just go with it. And that is beatable. Oh, Dragon soaks the hurt more. Try it again. There we go. Good roll. Got him. Uh, we might see him come back this way, maybe. Stones of Sunlight, good, but maybe not what you wanted so much. We had the scones. The homework is done. Yeah, now he just has to find the trading caves and go directly to Sherlock. Easy peasy. Sire, Sire is a, a naked warrior walking towards Sherlock again. Well, I suppose all things considered, you know, finding Hawksness versus finding a regular town, you're probably okay with it right now. If you didn't have hurt more, you'd be very, very angry. But you have hurt more, so you can actually, I can check that out and see what happens. Right, so Axe Knights have hurt, which is not bad, and uh, the Armor Knights have stop spell, which right now is terrifying, but later on will be you know, nice. All right, and that's it's one of the fun things. You see some people will go out of their ways to fight things that you ever otherwise won't want to fight just to get a taste for what they might have. Like, if you see somebody swinging on a stone man or a blue, blue dragon walking around, they probably don't really want to fight them, but just want to make sure that they don't get surprised in a Sherlock dive later in the game. Yeah, also, especially for heal spells. Uh, the heal AI only, only starts happening when they're weak, so you have to actually hurt them quite a bit before they start thinking about healing themselves. So you can be surprised about that later on. If you hit them with hurt more and blow them up constantly, you'll never see that threshold. If you try and be cheeky later on and hit with a sword twice to save your mana, and suddenly you to heal more, you didn't see that coming. You have to be careful. That is interesting. Chroma is retracing his steps repeatedly here. Um, I don't think he's found anything in particular to end this walk, but I think he likes the zones along the way, so he's getting a decent amount of experience while he's doing it. Uh, um, walk past, I believe this is... Yeah, I think he's gonna pop in here just to use an herb. 
uh, to grab the herb and to probably use it immediately to preserve some resources. Or maybe not. In the same vein, uh, Ratliff is back to this swamp by the grave and has gone to the swamp three or four times down you know, the north there and you know, not writing down a map or not tracking their locations. Because they've gone to that swamp to the top and like, oh, they didn't. And they've done it good three or four times now. And I should mention, I'm not, as a commentator, never aware enough of the map really to know um, exactly where things are. So I just comment about things I recognize, like, oh, hey, I've seen this before. It looks like Chrome is going in for the full herb grind, though. Yeah, uh, I'm one of those. I'm one of those idiots who doesn't actually map, but does it mentally. So <laughs> I'm actually pretty good at keeping track of what's on that map, but please, can you see it burns it? But no, I don't have enough desk around me to properly map things. So Ratliff goes into the cave, grabs an herb, sees Chroma leave, and then he goes to leave and sees Chroma go back in. Might scratch his head if he doesn't realize exactly what the play is here, but considering uh, the resources and how far they've had to walk for it, it does make some sense in that, in light of that. Oh, Ratliff gambled on the Red Queen Dragon and got a low hurt more roll. Oh, chat saying that Chroma actually had a town on screen when he died, so... We'll see if we can get back to that, if that's where he is heading. Those herbs might be enough to get him there. I think this direction over here is where Hawksness was found. He has quite the gold build up right now. Has to think a little bit about what to do. Uses the hurt spell, does take it out. I think some people forget about oh, yeah, her. Yeah, south. Yeah, Hawks is south and west, or south and the swamp. I think to the right of it. It's a little bit east and south of the castle. So what's over here, then? A real town, perhaps? Yeah, there's our uh, little short spot, and there's our town. Hello, town. We have coal, which uh, has one of the search spots. So we'll roll right now if we get something useful, because this would be, what, sword, armor, or death necklace? Armor. Big find. It's, I, I don't know, you might still want the sword a little bit more right now, but the fact that you have uh, the big spells there really kind of helps out. So I'm going to hand axe with a large shield and uh, be in very comfortable walking around uh, gear. I'm happy with armor because half my map is swamp and all the big enemies either have annoying spells that now take you less damage or stop spells to be free rounds of combat now. So armor is probably the best thing I'm going to hope for in that spot, and that's fantastic. Plus large shield and hand axe, so we're ready to rock. Now where is... Bular? It looks like Ratliff is very close to finding Pull 2. Uh, it's just about three squares to the north of where he is on the screen. So, uh, tons of resources to spare. Level 11 for that now, so Ratliff just now getting that big HP boost. Uh, also, the armor heals you, so as Chrome is exploring and being ambushed constantly with the terrible agility, uh, you now heal while walking, so you don't constantly have both your heal more to stay alive. There they go, again, uh, overlapping their paths right now, and uh, we'll see Ratliff get that armor in just a moment. Chroma struggling to get away from Blue Dragon. Unfortunately, the armor doesn't help you run. On the edge of the map, so we actually found this is the far northeast corner of the map. And the two flat lines converged. Oh, red, red drain. Come, oh, please. I can get away. Okay. Alright, so this is a scary area now. Uh, the red dragons probably don't care about your feelings or your hurt mores or your armors. Not right now. There's a very off chance you could fight them with an axe down and you know, use all of your MP to stay alive in the process, but not looking fun. And level 12 giving, a, you know, another sort of lowish amount of stats. You're not sad to see it, but uh, we're, we're waiting, I think, for something big to drop at some point. Because I would say level 12, these stats feel just slightly low. Yeah, we have a few big boosts. The MP being high is really nice. The MP basically being assured for the end of the game is a real bonus. But yeah, hit points are kind of low. Strength and agility, nothing to write home about. And we only have, just now, found a hand axe and a large shield. 
without the armor, he'd be basically just well, very fragile. I don't think Chroma went all the way down here, but it didn't matter. I think he did. I don't know if he saw the bottom or just gave up because it looked like it was dead ending anyway. Yeah, we close the reds. Uh, Rath's going to try and fight. Redleaf has a full tank of MP. He's going to try and. No, nah, not yet. Unfortunately, he did not get away, so Chroma sees the dead end for both of them. He knows. Uh, we might, I wonder if we'll see him, if he survives this, of course, pop back over to get his resources cleaned up because he's already lost about half of them. He does get away second try on the Red Dragon. That's all you gotta do, just run. Right, so this zone is basically all the base monsters. It's Demon Knights, Golems, <laughs> Red Dragons. This area of the map is terrifying. Later on, maybe it's a good grind spot, but for now, it's all trouble. We're seeing one of the armor benefits here. Ratlift's now walking this giant swamp, damage free and not stopping every step. Always feels good the first time after you get the armor, just walk around in some swamp, squishy in between your toes. The big C showed up, so south of that terrible death zone is Charlock. The big C next to uh, this island that looks like a big S. Another town? Nope, back hawks this. He rather wants more red, green dragons to fight. That's not a bad idea. You got hurt more, you have armor, and you're feeling a little bit behind on stats. Uh, do a little grinding. It's a great grind spot. Uh, green dragon's about the best you could hope for here. I mean, the best thing to hope for is the, is the Axe Knight, just for a little extra boost, but. Can't sneeze that green dragon. Yeah, unfortunately, Ratliff didn't have the money, I believe, when he got to uh, Cole there to buy an axe. So um, he's going to have to rely on Hurt as the kind of the follow up. Instead of it, 54 AP, you're not reliable to kill that thing. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Ratliff's going to be all magic. The Chroma dipping down, finding another town, and we have camp. We have the shopping mall of Alfgard. However, we still have any keys. So we can't get to the secret shop, we can't buy more keys, and we can't get to the old man. With the coordinates. Wonder, if he has those two cursed belts, will he sell those for the broadsword? You already have a hand axe. That seems like a little bit of an unnecessary stretch, but the thought popped into my head, at least. Level 12 for Ratliff. Again, there's a chance that the sword, the big stick, could be in Charlock. We're out of spots now. We have uh, the Will Mass spot to check. We have the Garen Ham chest. Um, the Garen Ham chest, three of those. The uh, Rimaldar chest, so one, two, three, four chests and a treasury. Uh, I think that's it for other spots in the world. So the math now is starting to favor Charlock having the sword. Yeah, we, have, we, haven't seen the, we haven't seen the train caves and the swamp caves. You're right. I think we're missing Tablet too, correct? Oh, yeah, I haven't seen Tablet Cave. So G Freebie Cave, no Tablet Cave. And yeah, and the bottom grave, which is also behind the keys. So uh, still a 50-50. I'd say you're still in favor of the overworld somewhere having your sword. But uh, say you quit out the rest of the swamp, you find Garenham and, and all zonks. You're probably going to thinking Trollocs down your odds on play. And rather for the grind, has matched up with Chroma's level. And leaving, which is a, a little surprising. I thought maybe he would just stick there until he died, but. Uh, looks like he wants to try to press on with uh, lowish resources. Maybe there was a town nearby, but I don't think oh. we saw anything. Well, Ratliff walked from here to here from coal, so uh, nothing else you can go to coal to recharge the batteries. Um, but, ooh, we found his cave down here. That works too. Hello, cave. That must be Tablet. Well, I guess that could be North of Swamp. We nope, are Tablet. tablet. Ratliff says, no, Tablet. I don't want you. Interesting. There's there's some reason to uh, put that off, you know, until you have outside. But uh, I'm still kind of surprised. It's very rare that I won't just push tablet. I don't. I mean, you would have to be expecting something to come very soon, I think, to, uh, to put oh. it off at all. And Garenham is found, but still no keys. All right now we have North Swamp. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I would check to have a cave just because I don't have a sword, and yeah, I have a sword. <laughs> Basically, it's a free chest, no monsters, 
I have Radiant. Ooh, yet another town. So we're finding all the towns in sequence here. So that town could be really exciting. It could be Remolder, or it could be Breconary. As Rattler finds a whole new world. A small, timid creature that flee out of sight. See the second continent, Swamp Continent, and it looks like it's on the left coast here. Uh, bottom left corner, and Chroma does find Remolder, so key access. He's going to be really excited to go back to those last two towns he was just at. Yeah, Chroma go to uh, back right to Garenham and get the back door, get three chests in the downstairs cave, which we know has to be one of the trading caves now. We're out of options. Swamp Cave is uh, looking like a dud. We'll see. There's just a little bit left here in this desert corner, and uh, it's not a corner. It looks like it's still going. So. But uh, yes, yeah, so we can confirm now that Tangel and Garenham have the trading caves in the back door. Well, it's kind of convenient, I guess. It always feels a little weird when a uh, town just has like a bunch of red dragons in the basement, you know? Alright, I'm going to check the town here, see if just in case you find a silver shield location. If you have a very oddball that we have a silver shield. So the odd off chance you have a bunch of gold here, come back here and grab that shield. Yeah, good point by Brian. Uh, if Harp is in Grinham, that's good for Chroma. Might be good for both of them, because it doesn't look like there's any loose available keys, unless there was a key in Tablet, which um, is just one of a couple items that could be, uh, you know, cause Ratliff a little bit of pain later, if that's what it ends up being. Yeah, that's in Tablet. That's a key there. There's a spark over bridge. Lovely. One spot spot there. But if you if that, if that Tablet key had a free key, you could die at the castle and buy keys to the castle, and bypass the need for Garenham or Rumaldar, then uh, you're gonna really hate missing that check. Interesting seeing Chroma sell a lot of stuff. I'm guessing he's gonna buy a broadsword. Yeah, yeah as well. Didn't really need to sell it all, but um, that's fine. You need some extra walking around money, it's always good. Yeah, Chroma needs to find a hawk's nest to find the uh, stones of sunlight. So Chroma has some trout lock in all the towns, but has not found the actual hawk's nest yet. Big stick. There, there we go. Sword in hand. All we we know now all you really need is hawk's nest. And uh, again, if Harp isn't here, he'll have to come back because it'll be the Jerk Cave. All right, we have the Harp Trading Caves. Good. The castle has the Jerk downstairs. Yeah, as, as uh, he just said, McFruit, by process of elimination, we know the Jerk Cave has to be down there. I think Chroma doesn't know that for sure yet, though, because he hasn't seen Tablet Cave. Yeah, Chroma's not seen Tablet and not seen Hawk's Nest yet, so obviously Hawk's Nest can have the goods. Or I suppose Swamp, which uh, Ratliff is still... I kind of—I don't think there's anything over here. So I think he uh, is still just kind of wandering around it, trying to go back because there's no return. Is that breaking area I see? Are we going to find all the towns and, like... Two screen radius? I think this one was Cantlin. I think he's going back to it. Ah, with the coordinates. Uh, actually, the coordinates are important. You wouldn't really think that, but you still don't have the stones in, in a Chroma's case. So the coordinates may have your stone access. And it looks like he is beelining down there. He has the armor, doesn't have to worry about the damage tiles keys, doesn't have to worry about that. Just go in and talk to the king. And, or, the king, excuse me. The, the guy down here. And we'll see what we got for coordinates. He might warp immediately back. No coordinates, though. So, uh, still gonna press the exploration a bit. Probably looking for that hawksness in that swamp cave. Why are you bothering me? I surround myself with not one, but two locked doors and let you find barriers. Why are you here? I like to think that the uh, the town of Cantlin locked him up for running around telling everyone to go fight, and they're like, "This guy's crazy. Let's just uh, let's, let's make sure no one can ever get to him." There's other seats where he just walks around like, "45 north, 64 east." All right, yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Back to bed, Grandpa. Kind of feeling like Chrome is going to run out of the map here. 
Yeah, so Chroma's gonna eventually run to Hawk's Nest. It just means we've just not gone yet. Uh, once you find Hawk's Nest, Chroma's ready to go. Uh, find a grind spot. You have the best gear. You have, yeah, best gear. Stones access will be found in Hawk's Nest. You know downstairs the Ten Angel has to be the jerk. Actually, you don't know that. You haven't seen the Tablet Cave yet, so you assume that downstairs the Ten Angel can be at the jerk cave. And Blue Dragons being, uh, you know, not, nothing special. Just swinging a lot and being annoying. Dodging a lot, too. 102 AP, you feel like this is a decent fight. It's viable, and the payoff is there. And we're, surround we're surrounded by towns. If you feel like you need to heal again, you charge your batteries, just go to town and sleep. True, and it's hitting just hard enough to, to make you use a few more heal wars than you want, but looks like he's getting level 13 out of this. So four, two, four, four, and heal. Uh, not a bad set, but now he doesn't want to fight anything. He runs away from the wizard. Sees an armor knight. He's gonna he's gonna unload on the armor knight here, and uh, we'll see. Well, he can't get stop spelled, so armor knights are kind of a good enemy right now. The armor knights are much more viable now. <laughs> and gets hit for thirty five with physical attack. So he's you know still gonna occasionally not stop spell. And don't be cheeky, like, they're so armor knights, they're dangerous. Just, you know, know you're getting a free round of combat every one or two rounds. Yeah, he, he made it a really long distance <laughs> before he had to go back and heal. Uh, the, the, the low HP ceiling and the uh, still kind of rough agility are holding our runners back a little bit. Yeah, Sherlock I think... found Sherlock. Yeah, which I think we heard Sherlock from our chat, at least, that Sherlock was somewhat close to Cantlin. So yeah, all the towns are basically right around. Like you go around the bend here, down around, and it's only you see town, 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 town. So Ratliff might even up this exploration here real quick, and uh, otherwise that would just leave uh, Chroma looking for Hawksness. Which I think we know is nowhere near here. Yeah, Hawksness is, uh, I think, just straight west. No, straight east of the castle. At this point, I think Chroma was hoping for the death. I think he, he ended his exploration and was like, I'm going to take the uh, the Blue Dragon Express back to uh, the castle and loot the place. Dragon, my boy, can you do me a favor? Bite me right here. Alright, let's cash in. We have a treasury. Chroma wants to find the Stones of Sunlight, which are not here. But that's what we're here for. We're playing the, the numbers game. And he could get a Fighter's Ring. That could be useful. Might, uh, if he sees a gold grind, might spark something into his head. But uh, I don't know. Silver would be an interesting play. Usually, uh, if you already have large, going after silver doesn't feel real good. But uh, I don't know. He doesn't know what's underneath here, but we'll see in just a moment that it is tricky. I mean, if our agility stays sub 60 until we get to level like 17, it might be worth looking into. <laughs> I think Ratliff's going to get his first weapon here. Just, you know, a couple minutes before it gets the uh, Erdrick Sword out of Grinham. Still doesn't have keys, but uh, assuming he does make it to Rimaldar, he'll solve that problem very quickly. Come on, finds the jerk. What a jerk. Except he can't quite do it yet. Not there, so we'll see him. He's going to do some heavy exploration. Maybe pop out the repel desert contagion. Yeah, there's three slimes and three steps besides. Let's, let's put on the... Uh... The old spice. Alright, so Chrome's gonna walk around the map, try to find where those spots are at. And Radliff is going to try to follow the path that Chroma had. We keep going this way and start heading south now, we should be able to find Remoldar soon. Uh, we should be Garen Hand and Remoldar in sequence. And Chroma is going, I believe, the right direction to find Hawksness, so. Uh, as long as he finds that before the Swamp Caves, that'll be a general time save for him. If he finds the Swamp Cave first, might be tempted to go through that and get really, uh, you know, lose a couple of minutes wandering around that thing. Red Dragon. More trouble. 77 hit points still isn't very comfortable because he just saw get hit for 41 and that is the problem, but... Um, with 54 agility, you still might want to swing through them, just because double hurt, double heal mooring might feel more comfortable. 
than uh, run failing. Don't worry about that. Chrome has had some. Actually, previously has some pretty good run luck against Reds. Ramped into them before. Or is that Rattler trying to fight through this Blue Dragon? The same concept. And that death might not seem costly, but it really depends what it has Chroma do next. If he goes in a different direction, then that death is going to just send him off in the wrong way, and that could be a problem. Uh, I don't know if we saw a third curse build or not. We did see every spot. Or no, he's seen two, so he actually knows that Hawk's Nest has to have it, because uh, Cantlin didn't have anything. Yeah, and again, uh, it could also be in one of the chests in Garen Hand. Well, well, Chroma has that those keys, so that's not right for Chroma. But yes, Chroma knows that the abscesses are either in Tablet Cave or in Hawk's Nest. So he does take a little bit of a different path through here, and there, yep, that was what was mentioned in chat. Uh, thank you very much, Mike. Um, that cave to swamp was right next to Hawksness, so it was impossible not to see it. And uh, here we go, and uh, this green dragon, he might, he might stay here for a little bit. I how I feel about this, yep. And I'd rather find the key shop, so we go to shopping. I believe the Urza Sword will soon be in Rattler's hand as well. Yeah, we might actually see Ratliff get to uh, Tantagel and get that rainbow drop first. Um, as Chroma just picked up his last little bit of information he needed, uh, now he is grinding, and probably in this equation you have to favor Chroma just a little bit, because he's going to probably be ahead in experience by the time they meet up on uh, getting all the stuff turned in. Yes, here goes. Ratliff does a quick work of the homework. And finds, you know, goes to Garenham, finds that sword, just says, alright, we're good, and just run to or runs with a grind spot. That uh, could be fairly even. But Ratliff is not going to Garenham, Ratliff is going south. <laughs> going to explore some more. That, that could be a problem. I don't know what he hasn't seen yet, or maybe he's forgetting about what's not. It looks like he's changing his mind. Uh, yeah, because um, if he happened to die or something down there and did not get uh, Garenham specifically, to clear that out. Cantlin, we know, doesn't really matter, but if you don't get the sword out of Grinham, uh, and don't get the harp trade in, that's a gigantic time loss. Yeah, so Rathus head back here and you know, find the sword, find the, the harp trade in, and then we'll know by deduction that the tendril has to be circuit. Now, Hawksness isn't really <laughs> near anything either. I'm pretty sure this is a die and walk back scenario because the closest thing was Swamp. So, I don't know. It might be worth a few extra steps to go to the Swamp Cave if you're having to come all the way back from Tantagel anyway. But uh, I, I would consider that a very small difference at this point. The amount of time it would take to walk that grind versus not doing it. You know, at this point, Ratliff might think to go back and check the coordinates in Cantlin, but uh, there's no need. Um, even if they were there, it's the Death Necklace, which might be useful, but probably not feeling that right yet. Yeah, if I'm looking at my HP at level 13 and 77, Death Necklace is probably not in play unless I get like 50 HP in two levels. <laughs> so, barring a surprise, I think we're going to do it the hard way. I think he's thinking about uh, going after... Um, yeah, like the jerk cave and not realizing through the process of elimination where it has to be and yeah he did see he did see Sherlock it was kind of in the way to get to this whole southern area yeah Sherlock was the gateway to all the towns he had to walk past Sherlock then he found town 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 and there's the hit points 37 point gain now the stats are starting to look a little Sherlocky still a bit low we see too many whites stats down there and not enough uh, orange and green. Yeah, that power we need at least 7 more strength to make it viable. Uh, MP is dicey a bit. HP goes by will be fine. Um, the only thing is the strength. And that might be 2-3 levels away depending on the luck of a seed. Now we could have a scenario pop up just with that hit point gain and the fact that strength is still a little bit low. There could be a, a scenario where you end up with uh, the Death Necklace letting people go a level early. Maybe two, especially because the Death Necklace matters a lot more when strength is low uh, versus the opposite. And if somebody were to find it, that could change something. Alrighty. So, Ratliff 
find where to go next, and Chroma is still exploring the edge of the world here. Not sure what else to find here besides... Hmm. We do know Chroma has seen the jerk downstairs in Tangle, so... Yeah, likewise. I'm not sure what he's hoping for out of this. Uh, and this is all kind of uh, drained time at this point. And Swamp Especially... Cave, unless you want to find Swamp Cave, check the Swamp Spike Tile. Let's see if you want to pick and choose your grind up. Or sure, Breconary. nearby yeah. Breconary would be pretty good, actually. It'd be a, a very good use for Breconary. Um, so... Swamp, uh, you see him go in and we'll see what happens here. Oh, no, this is Tablet, isn't it? So he's yeah, going to dig Tablet with uh, zero MP and no well, outside. Tablet's... Never mind. Nope, never mind. So. In before Death Nexus in the bottom of Tablet. But uh, both our racers walked to the Tablet and said, Yeah, we walked out. Yeah, we should tell them afterward that the Death Necklace was in the basement of Tablet and then just hope that it was. Yeah, only if they don't find it. If they, do, if, they do, if they find it somewhere else, we can't say that. But if they do find it anywhere else, you tell them. Of course, they'd probably say something to one another if it mattered and be like, Oh, so you found it in Tablet basement? No. Wait, how did you know? How did they know it was there? <laughs> Brain power. Excellent move on the Red Dragon. Down goes the beast. At this point, Chroma probably wouldn't mind taking a death, but um, it ran out of repel. Now it's going to really feel start to feel bad, walking in desert zones. I think Chroma's Fight. trying to die. I think Chroma's fighting that dragon with the intent of dying and accidentally cut it in five pieces. So now we're back in, back in the swamp gate. It looks like he's going to check it. Yeah, he's got an extra torch. Might as well throw that thing. And uh, free up some space for eventual fairy water purchase, possibly. Although Cantlin isn't super close, I guess. You probably don't want to have to go to Cantlin. Meanwhile, Ratliff, yeah, getting his big level 14. See what he does now. So Axe Knight, we'll see if he ends up coming right back this direction. He seems pretty excited about this grind, though. Uh, I mean, if you abandon a green dragon grind for this, but green dragons tend to be a little less, you know, um, automatic, so they, they can be a little frustrating over time. Uh, I don't know if you can even get to this place with one repel cast from Tantagel. It's that far away. I mean, the joke's on us, because Chroma is currently, without healing, without OMP, has been... Okay, finally, he's going to dodge here. There's a lot of crits, a lot of big swings. Chroma actually swung twice the sword and killed the, the Axe Knight last combat and killed it with two swings normally. So Chroma's, I think, isn't trying to die, he just refuses to. Chroma finally passes on. We'll see if he picks up that rainbow drop now. Uh, does not. Um, might have forgotten that was there. Wait. And, um... <laughs> oh, Cash Appell. We're going to head back to more of our grind spots. We're going to either the cave, or we're going to... Oh, maybe not. Now, Ratliff has been... No, I guess he died. No, he saw the bottom of this before. He is... He's lost something. And uh, I guess the only thing I can think of is that he wanted to... He's trying to find the Jerk Cave somewhere. Possible. Chroma, now back in Tablet, realizing that it's Tablet and Leaves. Throws the wings. Train home. There we go. Now he's back onto uh, what we know is the track. Doesn't it not bother healing up, though? Going sh straight for the basement to see if that's the jerk, I think. Maybe he's low on keys. Got lots of money, so problem solved. Chroma back to the swamp cave. That wings use does bring up a potential scenario. Probably won't happen, but you know, what happens if uh, level 15 is go mode but does not have wings or does not have return? We could end up in one of those fun situations where you have to walk. You have to walk back to the castle, and all monsters run for the hills. You kill Dragon Lord, they all say, "Yep, <laughs> we're out of here." So no death warping. You must do it yourself. So you go, Caitlin. Buy some not-urged armor and walk on the barriers and clear yourself that way. 
Big Ratliff just figured out where he's going next and realized that there is no healing along the way. Or maybe he just realized he never opened the uh, the, the chest here. You know, it Correct. could be a fighter's ring or a death necklace. If the ball lights in the wall, pack him. Which means you are now on your own to find ways to hurt yourself or walk back to the castle. And uh, <laughs> Metal Slime invited itself into Chroma's grind and, uh, you know, danced around, made a fool of itself, and then left uh, a little later than you would have liked. It was courageous. It was durable. He's his time on the stage. There we go. Level 15. What do we got? More HP, more speed. Return. All right, we're safe. That's still a little low. If you had the death necklace, uh, it's still a little low. I'm in safe. Uh, for, I'm in safe for returning, <laughs> not for <laughs> not for killing the dragon lord. We are we are safe to uh, get back to the castle. We're done. Now imagine if you didn't get a free, free refill after you killed the dragon lord. Would you like have to save eight MP in some scenarios, or would you have to always have a wings with you? I don't know. I I feel like I know it's not the case. Like when I was younger, and I beat the game the first time the hard way. I felt like I didn't have anything. I'd, I'd like limp back to the castle, like the long way. Either I didn't think about getting return. I was so it was like fried from fighting the dragon lord for like an hour because I was doing like no damage. <laughs> or like it's, it's really a for vanilla. It's a, it's a nerve wracking fight. Like you're going to the castle, whacking dragons for 50 damage, 60 damage. Saying, I'm doing pretty good. I'm the I'm the hero. I'm the best person in the whole village and the whole kingdom. And then you just get to level two and like ah. Dink. Nine. It's like, oh, hi there. I'm pretty sure the uh, the first time I beat the Dragon Lord, and I think I've only done it twice ever, but the first time I did it was save states, and any time he breathed, I reset the game, and uh, <laughs> and I never had the armor or the uh, Erdrick sword. Woof. No, uh, I do recall eight years ago, and. Uh... I don't know. It was my, my my friend played it years ago. Like I was, it was thirty years ago. When I watched it the first time, and I swore my friend was turning it by catching heal more. I wasn't comprehending that it was combat between the heal more <laughs> because it was getting hurt so often, and healing every other round of combat. And then another time, I was playing it later on, much older, had the Game Boy release, and uh, I had you know, white health. I wasn't red. I'm like, yeah, I have forty-seven health. I'm white. But I'm not red. I'm not in danger. And just get dumped for fifty damage in Dragon Lord. It's like how? What? Like you don't realize back then. I didn't know the ranges. I didn't know the math behind it. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm healthy. I'm not ready yet. I should be safe. And just get thrown back to the castle in one punch. Alright, so it looks like Ratliff is opting for Swamp Cave too. He did uh, he did try to take down a golem, and the golem has heal more. So uh, that is something to keep in mind in case we see a golem spike tile towards the end that uh, we might have to throw out a stop spell or something. But he is walking past uh, Swamp. I'm not sure where he's going. Maybe he really wants to find Breconary. Um, yeah, I can't speak for Rattler's plan, but I uh, know the monsters, we have the goods, we have the drop, we have the sword and the shield. Personally, if I see a seed without Breconary, I don't question it, I just appreciate it. But Breconary! I think we it. Oh, look. Breconary. Well, that is quicker than walking back from the castle, so he has that knowledge, but... While all this is happening, uh, when Chroma first got onto that green dragon grind, was about 600 experience behind, and now has almost a 3,000 experience lead. So uh, this whole race, which looked really tight at one point, has shifted dramatically to where this is very likely going to come down to uh, Sherlock luck and or go level decisions. Yeah, the, this is the kind of lead. Uh, Chroma basically has it in the bag, barring a few minutes or awful Charlock. If you go in the Charlock and there's red dragons everywhere, or golems everywhere, and then it's like, they're ambushing constantly, they're punching you. Um, even red dragons, because armor knights we know are stop spell, they're not dangerous. Uh, Axe knights have hurt, which is not a wild thing. The wizards and the werewolves are not scary. Um, yeah. Other than red dragons having a surprise, no. You can't run from me, haha, and then only I heal more, haha, twice. But we've seen so many red dragons, and no one's, no, we've killed a few, and they've never tried to heal themselves. So, I think the extra walk the swamp isn't terrible, but I 
think I, I, I don't know if I ever would have bothered to check. That is an interesting question, you know, because you're like, this green dragon, there could be better. I mean, he could have been looking for uh, green dragons or golems and stuff. So uh, I think he's trying to find Breconary again. Um, and maybe because Karma doesn't like this walk back. Maybe, uh, I don't know. The one thing we should uh, be cognizant of, though, is that Chroma still hasn't got that rainbow drop. It is possible that he forgets to do it. Anytime you see a scenario where somebody could get it and walks away from it, you start to worry. Yeah, Chroma's been in the castle a few times since and has not gone back just to get that little piece of homework done. Ooh, I'm sorry, we just have surprise fire breath. I don't recall I had that before. Yeah, they have... Uh... Annoying abilities, I guess. Fire Breath, which is about the same as the regular damage. Um, and then, yeah, just just enough to be annoying. And that Chrono's trying to be, you know, just trying to save MP and use sword attacks, and just not enough to heals or uh, range just for free kills. And then two or three Fire Breaths in that fight, just because you're trying to gently ask to go away, go somewhere else. And, uh, well, I think he's gonna figure out if he hadn't already that he doesn't have the drop just by virtue of running out of inventory slots or getting to see them right here. Because if you're doing this, you really want to, you know, if you're thinking fairy water and all that stuff, you really want to do that after you've turned in the drop because it frees up a couple more slots. It was also scary you think that now. Chroma may think that at level 16, your strength might still be below 120. And, I don't know, doing this versus uh, just walking to Cantlin when you're going to Sherlock to do it, I don't know, this probably feels better, but I'm not sure. It'd be an interesting um, equation to see if it changed, if it saved time. Meanwhile, he did not uh, heal back up, even though he's lost about 30 MP and is going right back into Swamp. Which, again, won't matter if 16 is go level, which looks to be fairly close. Yeah, Chrome be gambling on the fact that we're getting a level soon. If that's enough, we need to heal. We can save our six gold that way. <laughs> Just do it again later. Some elevation now we have in stereo. The sound of plate mail being crunched. And we talked about a 3,000 experience difference. It's now 2,000. Axe Knights die fairly quickly. I don't know if you need that. All right, let's see the stats. Sees that he still does not have outside. Yes, one cast outside, but no dice there. Two heals and walking away. Well, I think Chrome is one accent away. Is it 98 for the uh, next level? If I recall. 9750. So here we go. We'll see if level 16 is good or if. Uh, we're just going to have a little bit more time to think about this. Four power. Oh, just one power short. No HP outside. Oh, the math says you're one short, and that's bad. He might be thinking, and somebody could think in this situation, what if I were to dive and hope for the death necklace? Now, he's probably, like, if he had the death necklace and... The uh, fighter's ring, he could win that. But uh, I, I mean, know. even the fighter's ring now makes it possible. The fighter's ring by itself gets you to that damage range where it's gonna be a grind, and you're like 80, 20 in favor of winning. It's not guaranteed. It's doable. Oh, I, I don't know if that's possible at 121. I think at 131, it definitely is. Oh yeah, 121 definitely much better. But with all this health here, you know, you can get doubles and triples. Uh, Ratliff is going all in on Fairy Water too. Uh, he'll be able to get a full set of six because he sold off everything, including that torch, and already has his Rainbow Drop. Uh, which um, it, it always depends on what the strength level is for how much it matters, how much Fairy Water can help. I would say right now it would be overwhelmingly useful, but also at 115 AP, you're not having any hope of winning anyway. Well, there's always swag more. Yes. 
And we talk about just crit strats and uh, how you know you can't crit the Dragon Lord, but if you landed a, a DL2 on the Dragon Lord, does that count as a crit? Crit more? I mean, yeah. I don't know, that's interesting. But it's just a uh, one of those things where if you're, if you're doing that, you must think, if I go right into our scene, I'm, I always go east. I always go east. Finally staying to the east. You know, the whole scene in the east. And then two hours in, I walk to the west, and I find Cole with the armor. And I curse my stupidity. And now I think, I must win right now, because I missed the armor for two hours, and I'm a fool. Because right was right, I'm a fool. Then I think maybe I have to dive down, throw a, fo throw a hurt more at him, see what happens. <laughs> Otherwise, bad idea. And yeah, if, if we're thinking, uh, you know, chat talking about fairy water usage, by the time you get around 130, like even a, a full set of six fairy waters probably doesn't save you uh, or do, doesn't make up a one full heal more. It's pretty close. The, the one thing that's nice about fairy waters is that they're more reliable damage wise than your regular attacks because uh, regular attacks can say 8 to 16, but that doesn't mean that every one of those numbers has an equal percent chance. It tends to tilt a little bit on the neg on the lower side than the, the higher side, but as far as I know, and this from instruction from others, is that fairy water is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or 16, all equal odds. You're left now, you have to grind on. Chroma is not grinding. Is Chroma heading towards Sherlock? Uh, he's, no, I think he's going back. He just, uh... Others. Took, yep. Yeah. Just not throwing out Repel, so getting ran into by tons of Spectres. And there he does. There's the Repel. If Chroma had 100 MP, it would be wise to hold that extra MP open. But at 97 or 95, where it is, it's not only worth the big deal to lose that too. He's more likely to need a heal more before he finishes this off anyway. Axe Knight will do something to you at some point. So as we're looking at the side-by-side -side grinds here, 97.50 is the experience level for 16. Level 17 is 12,000. So uh, we'll probably see Chroma hit 17 before Ratliff hit 16. And uh, we'll, we'll know uh, a little bit better where the go level is at that point. So I'm gonna hurt more, we'll jerk. Alright, so you hear the racers again, so we can try to finish. Uh, the goal of the race, find the treasures, find the stones of sunlight, find the staff of rain, trade it in for the harp, or find the harp, trade it in for the staff of rain, find the token, which verifies that, hello, my name is Erdrick, find the jerk, cash those in for a rainbow drop, bridge to Charlock, and then with the items involved, uh, armor basically required due to the damage being dealt to you, uh, resist sword probably required because the incredible strength boost, and uh, shield some kind to help you out. So head downstairs and kill DL1, DL2, both forms. I heard something about gold. This is an interesting in that the Axe Knight, another thing that it does that people don't really concern themselves much with because you're usually not fighting Axe Knights for gold, but they are the fourth most valuable enemy in the game gold-wise. Courage, wits, levels, one power. Alright, I mean, it's not fancy, but it'll get the job done. I think... I wouldn't be surprised if we see him pop in in Tablet. I think he is counting on the Death Necklace here. Um, yeah, I think even, with, even those Fairy Waters doesn't feel comfortable for me. 120 yeah. is a little sketchy. Yep, definitely you want to try and find the Death Necklace somewhere, whether it be in Charlock's Treasury, or the uh, the Freebie Cave that they both have passed up, or perhaps the Dark... You know, two chests back in uh, Garen's Grave that are available. So you have to wonder we want a three year look at. Yeah, it's interesting instead of that grind, which is it's a fairly good grind, so you, you I don't know, you must feel real scared about, you know, where's the death necklace, where's the death necklace? It just seemed 
Sherlock, I'm, you know, completely boned at this point, more or less. Or possible, also, rarely that he could think that he still had it, or already had it, but probably not. Ooh, Ratliff gets hit, ambushed by a, uh, ambush, but tries to kill that charm and finds out with the fire breath, and it's going to take him down. So Ratliff gets the, uh, grind interrupted. So let's let's do a, a little bit of a thought process. At 120 AP, on average, that is about 22 rounds with 13 heal more. So he'd have to manufacture nine rounds out of fairy water and doubles. Which at 142 hit points, you're going to see some doubles. Uh, it feels like a still way too big of a gap. Yeah, doubles are harder to find. Like I mentioned before, about doubles being a big deal. Uh, heal more caps at 100 HP healed at the maximum. So it's, it's a world where you heal yourself from like 4 or 5 hit points and don't get, get to like 105, or you roll lower and get like 90, and not be able to react anyway. 85 to 100, okay, so you're low to 85, you heal at like 7 or 8 hit points, you get, you roll 85, you roll low ball, you're at 92, and then you get breathed down again for 48 again, and you're back to heal or, heal or die level. So, heal more is not a stopgap, and having a higher HP total does not mean you always get that max HP every time you heal. And we see Ratliff is going in. We've seen this before in the tournament, actually, on a couple different occasions, where he has done a dive to dive and grind for go level, feeling decent on his MP. Um, looking at what we see here, this is he's going to probably have to get to 17. I guess I don't think 16. I don't think 17 gave enough compared to 16 that it's that big of a difference. But so if he's able to clear this without losing a whole lot, he might. Do it. Otherwise, he might just be diving to see if the death necklace is here to uh, to go that route. But this is an interesting play, and just Chroma's right behind him. Ratliff is doing new resources. He has stop spell and has heal more against his golem. So Ratliff is not holding back. Yeah, figures. I dive. I can heal. I can outside and go to Cantlin. Maybe get go level along the way. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like a bad play. The only question would be this or an Axe Knight that is very easy to beat up. Chrome meanwhile is diving with the intention of diving, so we're actually going downstairs and we're not fighting things. So Chrome wants to find Death Necklace and you know, scoot to the throne room and do some work. Yeah, we might. It might depend on the enemies here. We might see Chroma swing through some of the reds, the harder enemies, whereas Ratliff is just going off on everything. So this is totally a dive grind and possibly get something useful at the end. I mean, Bill, like, I think we're all hoping that the Death Necklace is in Tablet just because of the troll factor. Yeah, the truth but, is we're all... We're all terrible, terrible people. We watch this game and play this game for suffering. So, the worse can be, the better. But at the same time, I'm, I'm not really hoping. That, you know, that would be the uh, the, the greatest, uh, um, of course, it was in tablet sort of scenario. I mean, I've already invoked the uh, top of a barrier omniscient to my last race I commentated on. So, by all means, keep bringing the bad luck. Yeah, the usefulness of the uh, silver, it does help in the final fight, but probably the biggest use of the silver shield is being able to repel away Sherlock enemies that, like the uh, Star Warden, which we saw before, had, I think, 50% DL2 breath to uh, not have to deal with those ambushing you or anything like that. Just so make the walk a lot nicer, use a lot less resources, and uh, make everything feel better. The main deal again is to just make the math easier for you. Um, 48 maximum uh, is the worst possible damage you take uh, from a breath, and you can make, make that for combat as well. So uh, you're going to have to do you know, two maths in your head for every time you get damaged to see if you're safe or not. You know, you can have 48 meter safe line is 51, which doesn't sound too much of a difference, but like, you take a lot of damage in that fight. And there are a lot of times you're going to be floating around that, that area, and if you're, you know, cut it close, if you have MP not quite there, if you're trying to, you know, a little bit of luck. You may have to roll and gamble on not getting killed by an attack. Right, so what Chroma is hoping for is both Fighter's Ring and uh, Death Necklace, so let's see what we got. Very 
Very water. Fighter's ring. Death necklace. All right, so that is uh, looks to be a fairly healthy go mode. 132 AP. It's probably 14 rounds on average. He has 13 heal mores, so he's plus one right off the bat. That feels fairly good. Plus, he could throw the fairy waters, which at his level isn't really going to impact much at all. Might save, might you know, account for about five or six points of damage by the end. Kind of the boss tile. If the boss tile is the obnoxious or just, just has un somehow crazy luck, which shouldn't be possible. Another monster we've seen should be a real threat at this point. Yeah, the worst thing is probably the golem, just because Chroma wouldn't have fought any, but a red dragon, that's not great, but you'll take it. Red dragon, as far as knows, is just bite more. So, uh, combat, hope we take it down, forget to heal. Try to heal herbs the end. There you go. Knock some herbs. Om nom nom herbs. Om nom nom. There we go. We were, we were a little nervous at the start, but we he's got those herbs and he's looking at his stuff. He is putting on the death necklace in advance. Early. Interesting. Just, uh, usually people do that when they feel, man, he uses the herb and he can't heal. Uh, but there we go. So I guess if he is able to uh, not lose the uh, the opening round in uh, the Dragon Lord 2 fight, it's all even. You have the double in the opening fight there, so it's a little dicey to you know, lower your HP there. He must feel very comfortable in this fight to, to do this this way. It's very interesting. But, I mean, you know, you look at the math and you, you think about things, and he is still an advantage. Even if he loses this, uh, this, he gets ambushed here, he still, I think, has good odds to get it, and he does not. All right, there we go. Odds still in favor, but we have to be careful with our menuing. That's always important. Yep, he is rolling 8 to 16. The fairy waters are worth... 9 to 16, so as uh, Schmeik said, just about one point of damage on average in the advantage there. And I missed the first one. Second one's 12. That's uh, just about average. Is that 16 for the first one? The first one hit for full max. Nice. So I think that makes 49. Yeah, Ratliff can't leave. Ratliff unfortunately has got to the bottom and he cannot escape the castle without dying, so more time to be used by in combat. Swinging eight min roll. That's not going to feel good. These rolls are, uh, these swings are not very good. That, that's the best way to put it so far. 13 is better. 89. Nine done. Seven. Another eight. They just uh, again, it's eight to sixteen. So anything in the uh, like twelve or above, you usually feel good about. Of course, there's always no swings. It's been breath swing, breath swing. So if you're hoping for two low swings and you're trying to sneak in a double, but HP being so low is really dangerous to try or really rare to have. Another nine. That's not good. The deal rolled uh, high on the HP charts. Could be close. Last few more. We got two more swings, I think. Still achievable. Still got a very good chance here. Uh, I think he was checking to see if he had another fairy water. 14. That is a good roll. That. All right. Uh, very close. And four. Oh, oh no. no. 
DL brings the dumpster. We're going in. I believe that was 163, and it was not enough. 163 not being enough, which means we have 164, 165. Wow, like Max DL2 said no. <laughs> that is not enough. So Chroma has to walk to Breconary, I think is where he's going. I mean, if you uh, want to take it off the necklace, yes. But if you're going to keep it on for combat, then you don't want to take it off. Well, it, I think Cole might be closer, but I think he wants to buy the fairy waters back again. And, uh, you know, that, that's rough. That wins... 85% of the time, you know, 14 out of six, so 7 out of 8, yes. 87.5% of the time that wins, and it did not. Yeah, it's miserable luck, and again, the last rolls being 14 14, there are solid rolls, and just any roll in the past could have been two higher or one higher and won that fight. It's definitely a one or two point swing that cost that fight. So now we uh, kind of drift over to see what Ratliff is doing, who is grinding in the first floor of Sherlock, going to get 17. Now, uh, kind of kind of the story of this tournament for Ratliff has been, and apologies for talking about seeming like I have inside information, but being in his group, I've seen a lot of races. He has not taken a lot of dives on iffy levels, so we'll see if he goes at 17 or if he tries to get night or 18 after this. We know, we know 17 is doable. The math says it's doable. We just had no, abysmal swings from Chroma, unfortunately. And unfortunately for him, the dive down the second time is going to be a lot rougher uh, with that lower hit point gap. It's, I mean, if he can run from things, it doesn't matter. But if he gets caught up with the red, uh, it'll be interesting. And it looks like Ratliff is bailing to uh, get his resources. So I think he's going. All right. So our races might be a little tied now, given the time frame here. In. Let's go for a snooze. So Chroma having to throw out the return and having to... Oh, he tried to oh, top off. He wanted to top off. And, oh no. So he topped off the MP. Trying to get MP topped off and realized he can't go in the castle anymore. So, so now we're down MP. So Chroma has to go to find a town to max out the MP again. Yeah, now he's going to throw out the repel because he knows he needs to get all of that. So, uh feel like right now it's advantage Ratliff. Chroma has full knowledge, knows that the Dragonlord has high hit points. Um, he came into that fight plus one uh, heal more, and it wasn't enough. The rolls were that bad. So Ratliff is going to have to do something similar. Uh, I mean, he's he, by odds, should be fine, but and, uh, Chroma picking up an herb in the cave. Chroma wants the herb there, just in case. Finish around the combat against it. Don't get more herbs. All right, so Chroma. Nope, that's against it. So Chroma, I think, is getting a little frazzled. We're seeing the uh, entries by accident. We're seeing the castle mess up there. So Chroma, maybe just a little bit. No, just it, it was awful luck. Like there's no going around how bad the luck was in that fight. That was just all signs pointing to victory, and the Dragon Lord refused to die. Guess we turn again. See. That might have been the wrong spell. I don't know. I thought repel? maybe he was going for a return. Yeah, for a repel. But uh, he's not casting it now, so I don't know. Maybe he just suddenly thought about going to Cole instead and uh, decided to warp back, but that still seems farther than where he was. I'd be tempted to start nuking all these enemies along the way, considering what we already saw now. Um, well, switching over to Ratliff, who is doing his dive, it's really about, is he going to be able to keep all the resources like Chroma did? If he loses any, this could be a real scary run at the end. Yeah, we know the fight is basically, you know, all, <laughs> you gotta do it all, and, you know, every hit's gotta hit, it's gotta be at least above average. You know, we're looking at max damage for a few rolls, to, or sneak a double in there somehow, to get past that high HP total. Sherlock again, so 
We're in kind of trouble now. Chronos to go somewhere else to find HMP because now we're down 20 or so MP. Yeah, this would be the the part where we need that that uh, throw gill ability to regain hit points. Because of all your problems, magic hit points. Who cares? You got money. Meanwhile, Ratliff is almost cleared the second zone here in Sherlock. No real problems. I don't know if he's even really taking any damage at all. So the uh, the radiant he cast is almost out. He did have two MP to spare. So I think what we've seen, he probably isn't going to need it. There is a red dragon, but I think the red dragon didn't have any abilities that would require magic use. Fight and bite. That's it. And, uh, damage being hit taken here. Obviously, he punched the gold from the ambush, but by the time you've walked over here, it's all healed already. The armor again heals you as you walk. As long as you're not in a prolonged struggle to escape a fight, it will kill your HP back pretty quickly. Now, into the basement, down the back straightaway, and uh, having no real problems, these enemies are fairly easy to run from. I'd like to start the last little hallway here. As Ralph hits the bottom, Chrome hits the top. Sneaking through the medicine room, now into the, uh, the Nirvana room, out the keyhole, down the S's, towards the chicane. I said O'Brien Williams appreciates my racing metaphors. Okay, getting ambushed by the red dragon is not good. He might have to use something here, but I think he didn't use any herbs. So, is he... Uh, well, 43 is safe, so there we go. Um, I think he can take those herbs out and clean all those hit points without having to use anything. Female Chroma using Radiant does cost him a heal more cast, so uh, now he is down to just 12. That could matter. Yeah, Chroma knows full well the fight is to the death and to the last swing, possibly. So, you know, MP is a little dangerous. Uh, Ratliff puts on the necklace and gets a shot spell. All right, and equipping it during this fight has given him a little bit of a buffer. These top spells, the one hurt more is up, and he's using the herb, uh, which I think his max hit points were already below. So that one's a little interesting. Maybe it was more like a, you know, mechanical sort of thing. But using his last herb, and there's that hurt more. So could lose the initial attack. We'll see. We'll find out. Any, so the giant lower is obviously beefy, but also seems to make you roll minimum damage. <laughs> so he got a double in there. That was interesting. They rolled so low on those two physical attacks, was able to sneak one in. All right, double sneak in. That could be the difference for the other fight. So that double may be the key. Yeah, it was a gamble. He can be hit for uh, fifty-one. So. Yeah, yeah, there's a 50, so he rolls, gets a 13. That's a pretty decent roll. Um, with that extra double snuck in there, he's probably uh, plus two rounds over your normal average. So uh, this has to feel pretty good for Atlas at this point. I don't know if you're counting, just to be your, your heavy resources, you're throwing, you're healing, your you swings you have to. And uh, you just keep going until you die or the Dragon Lord dies. Uh, you know, you're an hour and a half into the race. You think you're, you may think you're behind because you found things later on. You found, you know, the towns you know, much later in the race that we know Chroma found them. So it's a weird mix-up. Like you both found things different times, but Chroma stuff found the armor first, barely. Uh, the hurt more first, barely. So just a little edge Chroma had the whole race. There's that real bad luck in that Dragon Lord fight. Rolling a 15 there, that was a, a pretty good roll again. He's rolling 8 to 16, so anything in double digits, you're not sad about. 
especially when you get closer to that 15 point range. And I am not counting. I've, I've lost track, but this feels very good at this point. Yeah, Rattler's getting much better luck. The double attack in the beginning and a double here. Nope, doesn't want. Does, oh, wow. She has the HP to survive a hit and does not take it. It's a little surprising, but maybe he's just that comfortable right now. He knows the numbers are good and uh, just kind of like, no no need to risk it. Or maybe he's a little, didn't realize exactly where his defense is and knew he risked it earlier. Oh, uh, and swinging and he gets wow. it. He missed the gnome that was guaranteed. But GG's out in chat for Ratliff, who finishes off the Dragon Lord and wins game one of this best of three series. Again, best of one. So that's one win of two required. So, uh, you know, sweet things like, you know, randomly being murdered by meth in the Dragon Lord 2 don't cause the tournament for no reason. So, Chrome has another chance to come back and win two games and you know, keep on going. Right, and there it is. A final time of 1 hour, 38 minutes, and 33 seconds. Next exciting race, as Ebenezer says, from middle to finish. Very true. The first 10 minutes were a little more rough with the uh, flailing on ghosts and slimes. And we'll see if uh, Chroma gets a, a little bit better luck this time he did uh have um he's one less heal more this time than he did last time because of the uh the radiant cast i think he had repel and radiant and didn't realize that he had both of them so i think it's hit for 50 oh and a nine on the fairy water that's terrible yeah just luck dl is not buying this thing here uh, chroma's doing all things right chroma has around the right level got the right gear all the stuff required is playing by the rules, and Dragon Lord's ignoring that and being a very mean, mean despot, and uh, not following the way things would happen. You take damage and die at the end of the story. It's not happening for some reason. Right, well, that's what we'll speed on by as soon as the fight's over. He wants to watch the action live. Yeah, the rules have been kind of all over the place. You, you, I kind of op want to be optimistically positive about this, but since we know the Dragon Lord's hit points are extraordinarily high, uh, the uh, you might need a little bit more juice. Those Fairy Waters, again, like every one of them is adding, on average, just under one point of damage. Um, but again, you don't really know what the rules are until you see them, so here we go. Down to the wire. I uh, have no idea what the count is. What do we got? Not sure. Nope. Again, that last. Oh wow! Wait, bailed out, bailed out, and there you go. Good. Ending triple. Thank you very much, Dragon Lord, for uh, for just swiping a little bit. Considering the the first dive, that one you know doesn't make up for it, but it makes you feel a little bit better or worse. I don't know. Oof. Yeah. I was. I saw like thirty three health and swing coming. Like, yeah, we're dead. And nope. <laughs> <laughs> Spared with two. Wow, the low ball. All right. And there we go. Final time for Chromaticlism. One hour, 41 minutes, and 25 seconds. So that is a, a heck of two fights for the Dragon Lord. That is, it's hard to kind of even digest that. But yeah, let's see if we can get those Dragon Lord stats up there. It was it'd be 140 or 164 or 165, I think. Yeah, Chroma, Chroma unfortunately ran to the you know, yeah highest possible hit points. That's what the, that was the problem. And welcome to uh, the chat, Chromatic. Listen, can you hear us? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you were. You were you found Hurtmore first, you found the armor first, you found everything in sequence a little bit faster, and DL2 did not care about the math that you were supposed to win that fight. Uh, well, it was really tight anyway. Um, you know, the second time around, if I hadn't have gotten a nice 
nice roll on that on Dragonlord's final attack on me, I would have died again and then forfeited <laughs> at that point. I hate that. The 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 dive where it's clearly a risk. Um those those aren't the situations I want to be in. I really like a clear this is the level to go on kind of feel to it. That one was pretty tight. Falling behind is Ratliff, who has won the race a bit faster. Ratliff, good work. Thank you. The uh, GG. The GG, Chroma. Yeah, that looked, that looked like it was quite close. Uh, I rolled really well on the Dragon Lord. Did, did you have full MP when you started that fight? Um, I think I did. I didn't have as many fairy waters as I could have the first time around. Um, I did. I did dive and take a death, and um, had to go at it again. I think it's the first time I've been kicked out of um, Tantacle um, <laughs> because I had the death, ne death necklace on. Um, okay. Second, second yeah. time around, I finished with two hit points and and got really lucky that um, he attacked instead of. Uh, breathed and it was a low roll so even even the second time through I feel like they barely made it by so yeah just, I, just a tough one in that sense I killed him with I think I, I don't remember was it three Elmars left so my rolls were really good oh wow yeah your rolls were obnoxious your rat, rat fight was just opening double um, 10 plus oh. swings. yeah it was ridiculous it was just <laughs> The DL rolled over and said, Oh, please, scratch, scratch this little artery in my neck right here with the sword, please. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, nice. Take it. <laughs> if you can get it. Yeah, that was my first dive. I dove earlier uh, to get the death necklace and see how Sherlock was, but I wasn't high enough level at that point, so... Is that true? I did 163 on the first one? I was going to yes. ask. Yeah, you did wasn't three, right? Are you serious? Like, I'm like, we're good to go, and then it, it, it's like, Dragonlord attacks, I'm like, never mind, we have a maximum health Dragon Lorder, or 1d4, 1d5, it was literally the worst oh possible my scenario. Gosh. Yeah, I wasn't even counting. Um, kind of made it a habit of not. <laughs> Maybe it's time to. I mean, it depends what you're, like, that fight was so close, like, I was saying, like, you get in there with full resources, I have all my tools, I'm going to, you know, look at my math, take my swings, look at my health, heal when I have to, and do my thing. And someone's gonna die. Me or the dragon lord. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah. Well, tough luck. It, it happens. But I got I got another shot, right? Isn't I saw that it was best yep. of three. I, best didn't, of three. I didn't realize we were doing that this time. That's pretty yes. cool. So for the playoff spots here, for the uh, to avoid quirks of fate, such as dragon lords having maximum health, being the default decider, <laughs> uh, we are allowing us to have two, hole of one or two. The favorite sign from Price is Right. But we'll try it again. So Ratliff, you're yes. up one to nothing right now. Another win for you puts you to the next round of the playoffs. And uh, Chroma can come back and make a tie, and then you have a rubber match, which is always fun to watch. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, looks like I got lucky on this one. I wonder how much I would have lost by if he... Um, six minutes? Yeah, one, one Sherlock dive, I guess. Where? This is a ballpark around there. Uh, you, you were, Ratliff, you found the Death Necklace and the uh, Fighter's Ring and couldn't outside right when uh, Chrome was fighting the Dragon Lord the first time. Man. Yeah. What, what's your guys' overall, if you could sum, summarize this race, what, what would you guys say? Commentators that watched the whole. Uh, the best thing that we saw in the chat was mentioned by, let me find it real fast. That was, <laughs> uh, I can't find the quote, it was hilarious. Uh, oh, are you looking for there that? I, I, so Ebenezer Cook, Ebenezer Cook said, "Exciting race from middle to finish." <laughs> <laughs> That's a good quote. Yeah, it seemed like. Uh, sorry, it's right next to the mic. It, it, it seemed like uh, you guys were just doing opposite things for a while. Like uh, Ratliff found Hawksness and that whole path really early. Unfortunately, he had to walk the swamp continent, which was useless. And uh, Chroma went the other direction. You guys were trading experience levels for a while. I think Chroma mostly had the lead towards the middle and the end, and the uh, the southeastern experience, er, exploration wound up being a little bit more useful. And then uh, I think um, when Chroma, when you got to Hawksness and set it on that green dragon grind, you were about 600 experience behind Ratliff. And uh, I think at one point you were 3,000 experience ahead just because of all of the stuff that he still had to find Jeez. down there. 
Wow. I felt really good about um, item collection. It was pretty efficient as far as, at least as far as seeds I play go. Yeah, yeah I've found a place no pretty, complaints. Uh, you all found the place pretty well. What did you find? What you found? Charlock, Charlock into uh, what was down there. Cantlin into Garenhan, Rumaldar, and, and then yeah. go backwards, back the other way around, <laughs> get those other things there, and then uh, yeah. Uh, no one knows what happened at the bottom of uh, Tablet Cave. You both walked into Tablet Cave for three steps and said, mm, nah. "No, walk back no. outside." This is going to be a, an herb or a dragon scale or you know, some something like that. We, we were uh, collectively really hoping that the death necklace was down there. Oh my god, that would have made me so mad. <laughs> well, cool. actually, if I, I may have just taken in one more level, and maybe that would have been enough that I wouldn't have needed it or something. I mean, we had the power. Uh, if our friendly Tabby's. tracker, uh, Billet, could move level 18 real fast, we'd see the magic. <laughs> uh, Schmike is pretty con confident that tablet was a key, so... We do eighty-three strength. That would make sense. Didn't didn't really see a lot of keys. That could have actually been pretty huge for Ratliff, um, because he went that direction first, so he got the oh, keys really late. Yeah, but... yeah I got. Uh, so is it basically I got the uh, three key items fairly quick, and uh, maybe the armor later? Is that how yeah, 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 precisely. Yes. Yeah, and it also seemed like uh, every cave you went into, you got what you needed right off the bat, and it took Chroma like two to three tries to get to them. Past few seeds, man. I keep dying like one or two tiles away from those treasure chests. Frustrating. Yeah, I don't know. Fairy, fairy Waters with 125 AP, it looks like 18 wasn't going to do much either. Oh, I see. Yeah, I left. I left the chest. tracker. Oh, sorry. I, I I left the chest in Garenham too. So, would have been, I guess, too bad for me if that was the death necklace. Yeah, it was yeah. gold, I think. Yeah, same. I didn't. I didn't go deep in Garenham. Well, I think that'll do it for me, y'all. But. Yeah, thanks, thanks, yeah. thanks for the game. Sounds like it was pretty cool, pretty exciting, and uh, get the next one in relatively soon. Yeah, I think we're all looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks everyone. Cool, cool. All right, later. Well, thanks, Roma. Relative, great work. You're a one up, so hopefully we'll see you soon. You can win again, or you have two cracks of the apple, so that's good. Yeah. All right. Uh... Yep. Any more uh, matches today? Uh, afraid not. We are uh, matchless for the moment. So, uh... Yes, our calendar is currently to be determined. We know there's a few people who weren't able to do anything this first week, so I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think we're going to see anything tonight, and maybe not tomorrow, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a bunch of stuff pick up at the beginning of the week next week. Yeah, holiday weekend and such. Everyone's kind of run around, at least in the States. So we're kind of running around doing our thing. It's one of the reasons why this first round was two weeks, because we know this is peak vacation time. All right, so we are approaching the end of this here scene. So I thank our ring streamer, Archfield Monk, for taking care of all the pretty pictures. Uh, Billick in the background, taking care of our items and our stats to see the horrifying numbers that were brought before us. Uh, on the scene with one, and Aaron to you too is here with me, doing commentary for you all. Thank you, chat, for coming on and watching. And uh, we're moving to uh, Guelph's channel, I believe. See some more Dragon Warrior practice. Hey, there we go. We have a bracket. Behold. <laughs>